This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, at verse 19. Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to what to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with long suffering the vessel of wrath fitted to destruction and that he might make known the riches of his glory to the vessels of mercy which he had before prepared unto glory all right shalom call hello yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim racha kodash double honors unto the elders and the apostles of great millstone and peace citations unto the elect all right this lesson is for you people out there who are questioning why the Most High does what he does. And those of you, all right, who, uh, you know, mock at uh, the scriptures. All right. Those of you that don't have understanding. All right. You people mock the scriptures, but you have no understanding of the scriptures. All right. You people have no understanding. And this is what's inspired by this. All right. It says, oh, so God can kill his own son. But I can't. Who are you? To the question the most high. And actually. All right. The most high sacrificed his son. All right. For the nation of Israel. For Rick and uh, Yahweh Shai. All right. He has his glory. All right, Yahweh Shai uh, did. He wanted to do this. All right, it was, it was, uh, it was his. All right, he wanted to do this. All right. Now let's see. Let's see. He wanted to do this. All right. He wanted to come down. All right. In the in the flesh that we're in right now. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. This is. Let's see. Hebrews chapter two, verse seven. Thou madest him lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over. The works of thy hands. All right, so he has his glory. All right, Yahushai. All right, he was down with it. All right, and it's all according to the will of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right. So you people, you have no understanding of the scriptures, but you, but yet you're you're uh, quick to speak on them. Okay, you're quick to uh, to speak. On the scriptures, as if you, as if you uh, know what you're talking about, but you don't. All right. All right, you people, let's see. I'm trying to, uh, all right, because you people, you, uh, you speak on the scriptures as if you know anything. All right.
let's see. Uh, all right. Trying to find the scriptures, the scripture uh, where it says, all right, that uh, even a fool uh, knows when to, uh, you know, keep his mouth shut. Because, all right, you people, you have no understanding of, uh, you lack understanding. You lack uh, wisdom. And uh, it shows because each time you uh, each time uh, you speak on the scriptures, you never know what you're talking about. All right. Oh, here it is. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter seventeen and verse uh, twenty four. Wisdom is before him that have understanding. All right, but the fool, the eyes of a fool, are in the ends of the earth. All right. Jumping down to, uh, to verse 27. He that hath uh, knowledge spareth his words. All right. If you had knowledge, you would understand. Um, you, would, you, would, uh, you would spare your words and not offend. All right. The scriptures. All right. Because each time you people open uh, your mouth to speak on the scriptures. All right. You either lie on the scriptures. All right. Say that the Lord said something when he didn't. All right. You even have sayings in the world that didn't even come from the scriptures. All right. It says, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. All right. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. All right. So you're worse than a fool. All right. Because, all right, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all lack understanding. Of the scriptures but again you're yet to speak <clears throat> on it all right if i'm not mistaken scripture says to uh if, if you if you don't know anything uh, close your mouth all right close your mouth and listen all right now the sign is from edomite most likely so you know they, they don't have an understanding of the scriptures but you even have some Jakes and Eves that thinks like this. All right. Look at this comment section. No understanding. All right. No understanding at all. All right. Especially these scoffing uh, people out here. No understanding. All right. That's why the Most High is about to humble all of you. The Most High is He's 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 angry, all right. Can't wait till uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai uh, put re uh, really puts the hurting on this place, all right. You people deserve destruction, all right. You mock the the uh, scriptures, all right. <clears throat> all right. So you know Yahweh Shai. How much I wanted, you know, it was his mission, and he understood that. He understood what his mission was on earth. All right? Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shut up his lips is esteemed as a man of understanding. All right? So if you, know, if you don't know anything, you know, close your mouth. 
all right? Even a fool knows when to uh, hold his peace, all right? Even a fool knows when to to know his peace and shut his lips, all right? Even, even a fool has more understanding than you, all right? Because he knows uh, when to uh, keep silent and when to speak, all right? This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 11. All right, chapter 5, verse 11. Be swift to hear, let thy life be sincere, and with patience give answer. If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. All right? So you people are ignorant of the scriptures. But yet, you speak on it. Don't you know the saying, uh, you know, don't speak on something that you don't know, know nothing about? All right? So, you how about Shemel Shai? All right? You people, you proud and arrogant people. All right? You will be destroyed and humbled. All right, especially you two thirds that question the most high of why he do things. All right. Jumping down to 15, be not ignorant of anything in, uh, in a great matter or small. All right. If you're ignorant of anything, all right, listen, shut up and listen. All right. Because sometimes you people tend, you, you people, you know, that question the Lord and, and that put words in his mouth, you know, that uh, question him. All right. You people, you, pe you uh, people, all right. You people tend to lie on the Lord a lot. All right. Saying the things that he said, uh, that he didn't really say. All right. This is Job chapter 40, verse 7. Gird up thy loins now like a man. I would, I would demand of thee and declare thou unto me. <clears throat> Will thou also disannul my judgment? Will thou uh, condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? All right. So you're, so uh, are you going to condemn Yahweh Shemel Shai for the things he does? All right. Because anything that Yahweh Bashem El Shai does is righteous. All right? If he puts someone to death, that's, that's uh, righteous. All right? If he makes you poor, that's righteous. If he uh, raises, like he, he, like he rose up uh, Esau, the wicked. But that was righteous because he, he was uh, punishing us for our iniquities. All right, and he's still doing it. All right, so are you going to condemn the Most High for sending us into slavery? Some, some of them do. All right, they say, why would, why would the Most High send his people into slavery? All right, that was the, that was on our part. All right, we we broke our our uh, our uh, covenant with Yahweh Bashem El Shai. We broke our our promises. The Lord kept His. All right. So who are you to question the Most High? Has thou an arm like the Most High? Or canst thou uh, thunder with a voice like him? Deck thyself now in majesty and excellency and array thyself with glory and beauty. Can you do that? All right. 
can you can you deck yourself with majesty and excellency? No. All right, you're out there fighting. If you, if you had if you can do that, then you wouldn't be out there fighting. All right, you wouldn't be out there protesting. All right, you wouldn't be protesting. Uh. Uh, the the for your rights. All right. Can you rate yourself a glory and beauty? No. All right. So who are you to question the Most High? Are you able to do these things? No. All right. Who are you to question the Most High, the Almighty? All right. The creator of everything. All right. And the Most High sent his son to sacrifice himself. All right. So that you can uh, receive the kingdom. Even you two thirds for when you come back, you still will enjoy the kingdom, and then you're gonna be, or uh, you're gonna be uh, down on yourself for 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 uh, for disrespecting the Lord like that. All right. Cast abroad the rage of thy uh, wrath, and behold, everyone that is proud and abase himself. All right, abase yourself. All right. Look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. Can you do that? Can you tread the wicked down in your in in uh in his place? All right. Can you do that? All right. Can you go up in in Esau's uh can you bring Babylon the Greek down? No. Many many of our people have tried. They have tried to rise up and they failed every time. All right? Can you look on everyone that is proud and bring him low? Can you do that? I didn't think so. Tread down the wicked in their place? Can you do that? Can you tread down the, down the wicked in their place? No. All right? Hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret? Can you do that? All right, it says, then will I also confess unto thee that thine own right hand can save thee. Can you save yourself from this? Can you save yourself from captivity? Can you save uh, yourself from uh, certain situations that there, there is no uh, uh, exit out of? That you don't think there's an exit out of? Can you uh, save yourself out of a concentration camp? Can you save yourself from a nuclear uh, missile? No. All right. So be quiet. All right. You people. All right. You question the Most High, when but uh, you have no understanding of Him. All right. No understanding of the Scriptures. All right. So. You uh, proud, you proud people, you would be destroyed. All right, the Lord hate, hates pride. All right, He hates pride. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter six. All right, because you people, you you you're you're uh, proud. You're too proud to uh, submit unto your how about you shy. I'm talking to you, Jakes, and you ease that think like these Edomites out here that question the Most High. All right, you cho you uh chose uh Esau over the Most High. All right, you chose Esau and his ways over the Most High, and you and you tend to question the Most High as if you're above him. All right, as if you're as if your ways are better than his ways. All right, these this is Proverbs chapter six verse sixteen. These six things the the most the, the uh Yahweh Bashim Yashai hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Alright, he hates pride. A lying tongue. Alright, you people who lie on the Lord a lot. Alright, hands that shed innocent blood. Alright, for you uh abortion people out there that support this, alright? And in the heart that uh, the uh wicked imagination 
and feet that be swift in running to mischief. All right, that's all you people do. That's all you people uh, run to uh, uh, to mischief, such as this these um, this, this uh, abortions. All right, these uh these abortions. All right, and uh these these uh marches. All right, and you march to do evil. All right, it says, a false witness and uh, that speak of lies. All right, lying on the Lord, saying that He said something when He didn't. All right, and he that saw the score among brethren. All right, so the Lord hates pride. All right, thinking you're something when you when you're not. All right. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2. And if any man think that, that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. All right, so you think you know something, but you don't. All right, again, you question, you, you, uh, question scriptures, you question the Most High, but you have no understanding. All right, you think you know something, but you don't. All right, you know nothing. Right, so you know with that, I call law you help us from now shy by Shim Rakab Kodesh. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of great millstone and peace citations unto the elect. Shalom.